I interest you in some wet bread. He knows there's something good in there. And you can see it's under construction. That is a big ass snapping turtle. Hopefully we didn't get skunked up. So maybe you're like, I don't know, super broke or you like a little bit of adventure. I'm gonna show you how I get free aquarium fish. It's something cool to take your kids to do. Like you're gonna see in this video, I take mini UA down. He loves doing this kind of stuff. The, the big thing is, is you're gonna have to find a body of water. You got a body of water somewhere, unless you live like just in the middle of the desert, which I'm sorry, that sucks. To catch free aquarium fish, you're gonna need to make one of these nifty little traps. It's super easy, guys. You can do this with regular water bottles, but take it, cut the top off just like this right at the cone, and then your cone will sit right inside the bottle like this. Now I secure mine like a dangerous way. I use a fish hook because it acts like a hinge and my, I, I don't lose the top pieces. Essentially the purpose is the fish swim in through the cone because they smell what's going on in here with your bait. And then it's very difficult. I'm not gonna say they can't get out because they can, but it's very, very difficult to. Most of them, they don't get out. This is a good time right here. You have that shoulder that nobody likes to eat on your bread. Good old butter bread. I just ball it up to a giant rock, throw it in. We're ready to go catch some fish. So I got a chicken leg. You're gonna get to see another way that I catch fish for free. All right, we made it down to our neighborhood ponds, like 500 feet from the front door. But um, the first thing we're gonna set is that homemade water bottle fish trap. I use this to catch what we have down here in uh, Florida called mosquito fish. I uh, grow these out, breed these, and use them as feeders for my uh, fish. Hail to the no. That is a big ass snapping turtle. All right, we got all the supplies, chicken leg, bread. Here's the trap we need right here. Now, you'll see where I set mine. A lot of times it's good to put a rock in here to help weigh it down because these will float if you don't get all the air out. But I'm gonna show you when I set mine, how I do it to keep it from not floating without putting a rock in it. Oh, a giant fish? Yeah. Well, we're gonna catch some free fish. You know what we do with these things. I go down here because there's a little grass bed. And down in this grass bed, I'm gonna show you exactly what I look for when I set this. This is really gonna go for any kind of minnows. I don't know if you can see that, but you see the rippling of water? That tells me that there is a S load of mosquito fish in this area. Look at all these ripples. Look at all these ripples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this trap, guys, right in the weeds. And I'm gonna get all the air out. Takes a second. Especially with a bigger bottle. All right, we got most of the air out. We're good, it's sitting down in here. Now I'm putting it in the weeds. That's gonna keep it from moving or drifting away. So there it is, we're gonna check that in a minute. Let's go set the rest of these things up. Yeah, chicken legs in. So if there's any kind of predator like scavenger, this chicken leg is going to call them. Our teamwork, Gianni's got the stick with the rope tied to it. I'm gonna toss it in since I don't have a tripod and I gotta do everything one-handed. One, two, and three. Put it right there. You got it, dude. You held that thing like you meant business. I'm gonna throw this around here. Luckily that rope is camouflage. It's kind of hard to see, but we're gonna be around. Reading the sign? Yeah, right here. We gotta check the trap. Oh, I All right, it's been a few minutes. We're gonna check the small water bottle trap. We're gonna leave our other traps sitting for a while. For the meantime, let's see how our water bottle trap did. If it did any. Sometimes we come up empty handed. Oh, look, there's a snail. So we got no mosquito fish in here yet. I guess let's let it sit back down there again. All right, we'll give it like five more minutes. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours. We're gonna go check the traps. Normally it doesn't take this long, especially the mosquito fish trap, but of course the day I make a video on it, it does. Hopefully this time we can show you how to get free aquarium fish. 
All right, let's see. Hopefully we didn't get skunked. Oh, we didn't get skunked. What? Check that out. There we go. We got a good couple in there, maybe a, a dozen, a little under. Some fat ones in there. Where? Oh. Wait, they're gonna Pretty have babies. Cool. They will. They'll have babies. So there we go. Now let's go show you what to do with them. All right, guys, we're over here by the pond. So I got this on here. This is where that hinge hook really comes in handy. I just take my screw out, pull my lid off. Now, whatever I use for bait, which I primarily use bread, and I like to use a whole piece, because then you can get it out in an entire piece. That interests you in some wet bread. What I'm gonna do from here is pour a majority of the water out. Now, with these fish, they'll stay towards the bottom. Now, you guys may be catching different fish wherever you're at. So that might not be the case. So just be prepared. We got one fish in, just letting it overflow. Here you can get a little bit of an up close look. If you've never, ooh, that's a, that's a rough side, but you see the water they come out of, right guys? So I definitely don't want to put these directly into a tank. So I always separate and quarantine them. Now you guys weren't supposed to see what I'm working on over here in the front yard pond. You can see it's under construction, but you can see massive schools of these mosquito fish. These are pre-quarantine mosquito fish. I'll go out and I catch them. And prior to quarantining and medicating them in batches like I normally do before I feed them, I just dump them in my front yard pond, which has all natural fish in it already. I'm just gonna go ahead and let these guys in here. But don't worry, I have my final batch of quarantined fish. And why not do a little feeding? So guys, in here, as you can see, huge difference in water quality because I quarantine them in an aquarium for a long period of time before I actually uh, feed them to my fish. <laughs> Let's have an epic feeding. And there goes El Tarpo. And you can see he's still trying to work one down there. I think I got that strike. There's the arrow. He's funny. You know, I like keeping those predatory instincts, guys, on these fish, especially fish that are wild caught. I don't like to change their ways. It's who they are. And uh, man, it's, it's hard to even keep track of what's going on here because everyone's going for different fish. I'd like to see some swim down so we can get a feeding of the tiger shovel nose. Looks like tarpon's still trying to work that guy down. Guppy, they look so similar to a guppy as you can see. There we go. So similar to a guppy. And here, I'll get it up close. So they're live bears. They breed just like guppies. They breed like every 30 days. So if you can catch yourself a couple dozen of them or something maybe equivalent that you have available to you, you can breed your own feeder fish program and there's your food right there. These guys eat live food two to three times a week and they eat um, frozen prepared other than the tarpon. The tarpon will only eat live food and bloodworms as we saw from our last feeding video. Here's a top down shot of that tiger shovel nose. There you are, cocked back and... Oh, he swam off. All right guys, it's nighttime. We're going to check the trap now. This is definitely the benefit of living close to the body of water that I'm trapping fish in. So, so I don't know if you can see that right there, but that's the chicken leg that's actually in the trap. I know you can't really see the trap. A little fish swimming right there. I don't know if you can even see that. Some cruising around, probably a little bluegill or tilapia. Oh, there's a turtle. Turtle wants a piece of that. Obviously we don't want to catch a turtle. But he knows there's something good in there. So that thing must be starting to smell. I don't see any fish in there. I'd be able to see it if there's something substantial. Damn chicken legs almost as big as the whole trap. So guys, I figured we'd check before we ended the video. But um, I guess we'll just find out next video when end up uh, what ended up hitting that. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I will see you. Oh. 
Hold on. A little bit kind of uphill. Oh, I'll see you on the next video. Um, uh, I'm out.